Hello everyone, my name is Alan, I'm from SoberLab, and today I will ask you, sometimes you not be upset when you lose uh, a new post, or you didn't know about that post, or you didn't know about that new YouTube video, and perhaps you lose it. Yes, I don't like it as well. But uh, what's the best solution? We have a program for it, to avoid it. The name of the program is Fresh RSS. Basically, they update you for all the new things that you have. You put a track list for all the posts that you like or all YouTube channels or everything that you want to follow and they will show you a quick overview for everything that has been posted in the last days or everything that has been posted in the last weeks and depend how much you configure it. So, in this video, as I told, I'm gonna show how to install Fresh RSS. It's a good application, it's worth to know. Uh, if you like this idea, we're gonna show how to install this application. But first of all, before you forget, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel, leave your comment for suggest for new videos, and let's go show it. As always, the first thing that we're gonna do is entering the portal for the application. And here we are. They come fresh RSS, it's a free self-host and probably the best in our opinion. I don't know, it's the opinion, but it's quite good that you have, at least you can track all the information that's going on. And that they say that it's quite fast, it's responsibly working mobile and self-hosting. Let's see, you need to have the database and a basic application, we're gonna do it, don't worry. And uh, if you feel a little bit confused, you have the documentation to read. If you have any problem, you can report a bug and you can just talk with the team and uh, ask for advice and any questions. Let's go back here. The way that we're going to install, we can run it, only download, but we're going to install through the Doc Hub. We're going to open the Doc Hub. Here have all the folders that you have the application. Basically, we're going to install the image, uh, free RSS, free RSS the origin, the main image and we go back here and uh, they show the website that you can connect, the demo and the license. It's an open source license so we will not pay anything so don't worry about it and you, if you come for demo fresh RSS and we open here they have uh, this overview of course you can change a little bit the colors here have some links that they create I don't know about those, but it's quite recently. It's 19th of July, 2021, that has been. And that they will have this overview. If you are like, you click in the website and you hear the website. So it's not a good idea to have, at least if you want to track something. Let's go back here and uh, we go through the website a little bit more and nothing else that we need to worry. So we're going to install in the Docker. So we're going to have here and click Docker. The Docker they already appear for all the information for the Docker. We keep a little bit down. They can install it through the core, but no, we're not going to install it through the core. We keep going down. They suggest us to install it through the Teafic. I don't know if I told it correctly name. I will show how to install it through the proxy manager, so we're not going to install it through this application. You can install it, but it uh, will be a little bit more complicated in my view. So let's jump it. They can say that they can install this application x64 or ARM system, so it's Raspberry Pi or any other application that you want. If you keep it going, we need to install a database, and uh, you can install a Marian database or POS create SQL, you decide. But uh, we're gonna go to the Docker Compose. If you keep it going here, and we find the Docker Compose here, wonderful. We find the Docker Compose, we're gonna click in this Docker Compose and hear all the Docker Compose to install. We're gonna copy this information and we open a Notepad++ to start to edit it. Here in the Notepad++ we paste this information and we go through the information to see everything it's understandable. First thing, it's the service. We need to install the database. Here in the database will be the Postgrade Alpine. They say that host name will be a fresh RSS database. You can change it, but we not change because it's not necessary. They say that hey start unless stopped. If you put hey start always, it will be always on. But then if you stop, they will hey start automatically. Don't want to do it. 
here it's the volumes that we'll install. Remember, we need to create three volumes, will be the volume database, data, and extensions. We're not gonna install a specific folder, we're gonna install directly this volume because it's so light application and so easy to install that we're gonna keep these volumes. Now the Postgrade user, we can change it for Sauberlab. The password will be password, why not? And the database name will be this one. We don't need to change. If you want to change, feel free. Now the image that we're gonna install is fresh RSS, fresh RSS. And that's uh, the application here. The port that we're gonna use is 88. No, not gonna use port 88 because in the next videos I will show how to install Kibik Toint. And if you install Kibik Toint, they will use the port 88. And that's if you already have another application in the same port, you're gonna have conflict. So let's remove and put 8585. Doesn't matter, you can put 92, or you can put any number, but 8585 it's fine. That they say that's this link for the fresh database. So let's leave this one. The two volumes that we'll create. If you want, you can create another one and go to the Docker, Docker Compose and create a folder there. But so light application, don't need to do it. The environment, we're gonna change our time zone. We're gonna take out Europe and put uh, Paris now, London. And that's it. That's it. Only thing that you need to do. We can start directly in portrait. No, we cannot start direct portrait because revision three. So we need to open the put to install there. So let's open our put and we'll create the folder called fresh RSS. So MK dear fresh RSS. Great. Now we're gonna enter in this folder and cd fresh RSS. So now we're gonna create our Docker Compose folder so nano docker compose dot ypsilon ml and we run it we go back here in our notepad we copy all this information come portray save this one ctrl x enter so now we can run this docker compose with the follow command docker compose up slash b and we run it they will download all the image and after the load they will install it and if appear done done it means that is done we can try to access it to access it as we define we need to open the port 8585 so we're going to open our ip for our machine and open the port 8585 here we put our port 192.168.1.211 and port 8585 they open already this page language english yes i want now they say that everything's okay that's a good sign and go for the next step now they ask what kind of database that you use. As I told, we use PostgreSQL. If you use uh, Marianne database, you can use MySQL or LightSQL, depending what revision of Marianne database that you use. But let's use as a PostgreSQL host. Mm. Now we go back for our notepad and our host as we defined was fresh RSS slash database. So we're gonna use exactly the same. Our user, Sauber Lab, our password was password, the same thing. And our database will be fresh RSS, the same thing that we did. Table prefix, you can leave it clear, don't need to put any information and submit. Now they ask, you need to create your user. So let's create our user. My user will be Sauber Lab, you can create your user according for your needs. Our password will be password and we put as a submit. Now they say, congratulations, everything installed. So let's log in with our user server lab and our password and put login. Now we are in. They come as a, some predefined subscription, but uh, we don't want it, so we can uh, manage it. And we can remove the subscription for the RSS release. Wonderful, remove. Now we're gonna create a new category because in my case, I want to create a category for YouTube. So I come here, add feed, and I put YouTube, and I put add. Now I have the category for YouTube. So the next step, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add a new category. I come here, feed URL, come YouTube. Now I come to my web page. If you're not following me, not subscribe, subscribe for this channel. It's really good to suggest you and follow you, principally for me. But anyway, we come here, put YouTube, come back here and we paste this. Have paste, we put add. 
and now the open this page say you want to define anything show mainstream youtube category check availability everything fine we don't need to modify any information we come back here and here my youtube cyber lab so if you come back for fresh rss here appear all the last videos that i post and the dates that i post and time that i post if i open here they show my how to build my nas it's great and here i come here and i can see my video if i click in this save button they open my video and we can watch it great we close here and we come back basically all the time that you click it and come here they already disappear because i already read it if i want to see all all the ones that i didn't read or read i can go older than a day last week mark all the reads mark not read and according to your definition so you can follow some youtubers you can follow some uh, blogs you can follow anything that you want and all the time that will appear new post it's everything in the same place so we don't need to shop in different websites to see when it has been post a new video or a new comment a new post a new blog and gone so i hope that you like guys if you like leave your like subscribe for the channel and see you next time bye